guys, I want to show you something that literally right off the bat I clicked on. We have a new thing here for the character select screen. So if we create a new character here, all right, we have, uh, all right, let's say we have this, this, this little panda monk here. Watch this. Ready? What? Okay, hang on. There's more. I know. It's as cool as... This. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? This is incre absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible to see this. What an absolute... Oh, man. I love it so much. Let's go ahead and see what some of the... Look at, look at the monk, man. What about Druid? Here we go. Nice tranquility coming out. Does it do the same one every time? Whoa, dude. All right, all right. Give me some paladin goodness. Okay, Druid, Druid is my favorite so far, but the Shaman one also looks absolutely incredible. All right, let's go ahead and look at the Warlock. Oh my God, dude. That's amazing. That looks so dope. Absolutely wild. I love it so much. All right, let's take a look at some of the other ones that we can do here. All right. Now we can check out the Demon Hunter. Wow! That is so cool! All right, what about Death Knight? Here we go. Oh, you even see the summoning of the ghoul. Absolutely delicious. I love it. I love it so much. I think that's every race that we've seen. Uh, but I thought I would go ahead and just... I, I gotta be honest with you. The Druid is easily... That is just so cool. That is just so cool. Look at how incredible these animations are. Absolutely stunning. Unbelievable. Looks so good. We also have some new customization here for some of these characters. As you can tell, this, my friends, is a Void Elf. Let's go ahead and look at this. A Void Elf on the Alliance that is pretty much a Blood Elf. Absolutely incredible. All of the different skin colors that we finally now have. You can be a High Elf, my friends, even though some of you say you can't. You can't. And you get to keep the the purple, the hair, and the void effects that it has. Awesome. Very, very cool. The new earrings that they have. And, of course, the eye color. Delicious. All right, but that's not all, my friends, okay? I, I know how beautiful the Void Elves are, or High Elves, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, by the way, they are High Elves. Blood Elves are High Elves. Void Elves are Blood Elves. By extension, they're High Elves. Gee, comments are going to come at me, dude. Anyways, uh, the Orcs also have some new customization here. Finally! And these ones are actually pretty good. Uh, all right, so let me move this out of the way. But if we... Go ahead and look at their... Right here, they have a totally new section. This did not exist before. Uh, this is brand new. We have different tattoos, but the war paint kind of gets in the way. So let me go over that first. They have war paint here. You could do none. You have this pattern right here, which looks absolutely stunning. We have this one here and this one as well. I'm going to do none just so I can show some of their tattoos. These are tattoos, which are different than war paint. So you can have tattoos and war paints. Uh, but I thought I would just point that out. And then we also have new scars here, uh, which is... Let me zoom in a little bit more to their face. 
which you can see right on their eye there. Abs that looks so cool, dude. On their mouth? I can't tell what that one is. Oh, it's like on the side here. Okay. That one's kind of hard to see, to be honest with you. Nothing like Teldrassil. And then we have... Another scar. I believe that's on their mouth. Uh, I'm not actually sure where this scar is. Oh, I see what it is. It's actually something to do with uh, their beards down here, it looks like. Uh, just like this one is around their eyes, which isn't quite a scar, but I do like that. I think that looks really cool. I'm going to go with, with that one for now. I'm also going to do this tattoo and uh, some war paint. You can also change the color of the war paint, which is pretty awesome. Uh, a lot of these look really cool. I don't know how I feel about the yellow one. Kind of looks like you got some mustard all over him. But this, I like that. That's dope. I wonder if the tattoos are supposed to be separate. Like, it almost feels like tattoos and war paints are supposed to be the same thing. But I'm not, I'm not sure, to be honest with you. That looks very good. Looks very, very, very good. Uh, we also have some new with the... So, I showed the Void Elves. Uh, and then we also have some Volpera eye customizations that you can do here, which is pretty cool considering that we just got Volpera, but you can tell that, you know, we have the two different eyes. Just like, uh, they're doing to all of the other existing NPCs and player, player characters that we can choose. All the eye color has been, you know, separated from the face. So we can still do all of these if you so choose. I really like this one. That, that looks, that looks really cool. I like that and then if i'm not mistaken we also have uh if we look at the female torn here i believe yep we can also give them a flower now as well which is which is cute i think it's cute uh yeah so she's she's got one uh the i think the males got one in the last build uh but they can have they can have a flower as well look how cute this guy looks Big brooding Torian with a little flower. I like it. I like it. I think for me, the orcs are going to be the coolest looking ones, to be honest with you. Because there are there are just a bunch of new, like... The way that orcs look now in this game is just... Seems so different to me. But the big... Obviously, the big difference is being the, uh, the war paints. Uh, the different style war paint that you can do. You can do Bloodlust, Ghost beast none obviously and then they have different tattoos as well gladiator strength and razor fin which is kind of cool but yeah i actually think that looks awesome looks very cool the, the the fact that we'll be able to change these super easily is gonna be fun i believe they also have new uh new earrings that you can do now we have nose rings and necklaces so you can now have a choker bones a choker i think this is great the more the more things that we get to choose from the better right so i think that looks that looks pretty nice look she looks she looks horrifying oh my gosh now the zandalari also have additional accessories that is a another new thing that was added we can see that they have these earrings here i believe they always had those but they also have the the necklace which i also believe they had yeah so these are all they all had these but now they're different categories so now you can do you can all separate these which is which is nice if there's a certain thing that you like maybe you don't like you know you can kind of do it in this way each of these is now separate including just the fact that you can either have earrings or not right on the top there it's pretty cool and finally, I believe this is it. And this is the male Draenei, Lightforged Draenei. Which is simply that their tendrils is now not stuck to their face. So you can have any face that you want. Right? You can have any Lightforged face that you want without your tendrils now being part of it. Which, <laughs> trust. As somebody that's like, I don't really like the tendrils. I'm glad that I can now have, you know, this face with no tendrils and uh my big old my big old uh my man beard here you know that's all i've been wanting 
and for the high mountain torn they have split the tattoos and paint the as as different things as well as some new earring options uh so i thought i would just point that out because that's that's a pretty cool thing to be able to do uh i'm glad that they have divided the paint color from the pattern uh i think that's a really good a really nice touch And also just like, I, just, I still can't get over how good this animation looks. Oh, it's not believable. Anyways, that is it for the new customizations that we have on this event server build. Uh, obviously, we'll be getting beta sometime next week. Uh, so this is currently as up to date as I believe the customizations are. Anything else that you have seen is obviously still there. Uh, a lot of separating of things in this build, which is awesome. Something that I'm, I'm personally very excited about because I... Especially the night elves lately, man. They look so, so, so good. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. The the orcs in particular, I think those changes look really, really nice. So anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, and hopefully I'll have some more Shadowlands beta coverage coming soon. Thank you. And remember, never give up, never surrender. Bye, everyone.